In this video, we'll see how to connect to a virtual machine in the Oracle Cloud from the Macintosh operating system. I'll assume you already have a virtual machine running. If not, check out the videos listed above. In a previous video, I've already downloaded the private key file created when I configured the virtual machine. Now, I'll launch the Mac OS terminal by typing command space, then entering terminal and pressing the return key. I can see that my current working directory is the home directory for my user account. That's good, because to make accessing my VM easy, I'll want to put that private key file in the expected location. It belongs in a folder called .ssh in my home directory. Let's see if that folder is already here by trying to make it the active directory. I'll type cd.ssh. I got an error message telling me that the directory does not exist. I'll create it by typing mkdir.ssh. Now, I'll activate that directory by typing cd.ssh again. Next, I'll open Finder in this folder by typing open. so I can move my private key file to the .ssh directory. I'll also open the folder that holds the key files I downloaded when building the VM. Even though I don't really need the public key file to be here, I'll keep them together by moving them both. I should be able to see these files in terminal now, so I'll ask for a directory listing of the current folder. It looks as though they are here. When I try to connect to the remote VM, the secure shell client will automatically try to use this private key for authentication if it is in the .ssh folder and named id underscore rsa, so I'll rename it now with the mv command. This private key file should not be accessible by anyone but me, after all, it's private. Before I can use it to connect, I must change the permissions so that I'm the only one with access. In this prior listing, this or indicates that any user is allowed to read this file. This one indicates that users in the staff group are allowed to read it and this one indicates that my user can read it. That's not secure enough. I'll change it so I alone am allowed to read it by executing the command chmod 400 id underscore rsa. Another directory listing will show that now I'm the only one with access to read this file. I'm ready to connect to the VM, so I'll make my user's home folder the active directory by entering cd. Now I'll connect to my VM using the SSH client by typing SSH followed by the username, which is OPC. Then I'll type the at sign followed by the public IP address of my VM and press return. The first time I connect to a new machine, the SSH client prompts me to be sure I want to connect. I'll type YES and press return. It looks as though I'm connected. Here's the machine name I chose when I configured the machine. I'll check my current working directory. Sure enough, I'm in the home folder of the OPC user. To end my remote session with the VM, I'll type exit and press return. The connection is closed and I'm back at my terminal prompt on my local computer. 